This is Shane Davis from Youngstown State University here with Figure It Out Baseball. Today you're joining me in my office for a little lesson, a little classroom session where there will be some math involved, but don't worry, I'm going to be the one doing all the math, so don't grab your calculators or scratch paper. Before we start, I do want to highlight something for you that is always on my whiteboard on my in my office. It is the priorities that we have as pitchers here at Youngstown State University. Priority number one is our location. Priority number two is our movement. Priority, priority number three is our velocity. If we don't have these two, location and movement, we're going to struggle if we just have the third one. So today is going to be a supplement on my five-part series on catch play where I just wanted to map out so you guys could have a visual of what I was talking about in the importance of playing quality, good catch. So, as I talked about in those videos, we only have so many reps off the mound in a given week in order to work on things. However, we're playing catch every day where whether it be a flat ground, long toss, uh, rocking, rocking throws, or walking line, we have a chance to get better. It's usually going to be working on mechanical things and throwing strikes, having command of our pitches, but we can also work on our velocity, say, in our long toss routine. So I'm going to take you through what a college pitcher looks like in a given week. So I'm going to have two rows. One is going to be labeled M for mound. The other row is going to be labeled C for catch. And what I'm going to map out for you is what our Friday starter would look like. So up top here is going to be the days of the week. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then we go back to Friday. So let's say we've got our Friday starter who throws, let's say, 100 pitches. I'm going to be using some round numbers and estimates here, uh, but 100 is a pretty good number for a Friday starter to hit. As he's getting loose, he's probably going to throw about 40, about 20 to 40 pitches um, off the mound during his bullpen. So we'll say 25 plus 100 is his total workload off the mound that day. Playing catch, he's usually going to make around 50 throws. Again, these are estimates, but they are pretty accurate estimates. So he's got that 125 off the mound that day, and his 50 pitches playing catch. On Saturday, he is definitely not going to throw off the mound. Now, this is kind of a swing day for him where Guy could have a day off, or he may play some light catch. So let's just estimate it at about 25 throws playing light catch. Sunday, still going to be no pitches off the mound. However, he will probably throw some sort of a catch, long toss, flat ground routine. Uh, we'll estimate it at about 50 throws. Monday, still most likely is not going to be off the mound. However, going to be playing catch. Tuesday or Wednesday is going to be a bullpen day for him. Let's have Tuesday as his bullpen day. The absolute longest, I'm talking once every year or two bullpen he's going to throw, might get up to about 40 pitches, so we'll work on the high end. Most bullpens are going to be between 20 and 30 pitches, but we'll go 40. So he's off the mound now for 100, 100 plus 25 is 125 plus 40 is 165. Just finishing out the week, Wednesday he's not going to be off the mound, Thursday he's not going to be off the mound because he's starting again on Friday. However, playing catch, playing catch, playing catch. Now looking at this, adding these numbers together, 25 plus 100 is 125, plus 40 is 165 off the mound that week. What's 50 plus 50? 100 good so we've got 100 here 100 here 100 here that's 300 plus that 25 so 325 if he just plays light catch on Sunday if he takes it off 300 so looking at these numbers 300 is a larger number than 165 correct yeah good and 
keep in mind that 100 of this 165 is while he's in a game. And what are we trying to do while we're playing a game? We're trying to win. We're trying to get guys out. We're not necessarily working on things. So he's got this 25-pitch bullpen before he throws his start and the absolute max of 40 pitches in his bullpen. So that is only 65 pitches in that week where he is working on things. And let's say he does take that day off. He's got 300 throws playing catch where he can work on his accuracy, he could work on building his velocity, he could work on his command of his pitches, his mechanics. So these 300, pit, 300 throws we make in a given week are of paramount importance to us, where we can pick little things that we need to get on and get better at and actually get on with trying to get better at these things uh, versus just the 65 pitches that we have in a week. Now, another thing to keep in mind, let's say that we are in a little league, pony league, any type of player up, to, up towards high school where we might be the starting shortstop as well, but we're also starting. Now, if you're in little league, you have a pitch count of, I believe it's 85 pitches, where this number goes down to 85. You know, you still might be 25 there, so you're at 110. And because you're a shortstop or catcher, that 40 usually is just going to go out where your bullpen might be either no bullpen or like 10 pitches because you've been throwing a lot playing shortstop every day that week. So that knocks these numbers down to where you could potentially as a little league player or high school player, you could potentially be knocking knocking 40 pitches at least off of this 65 to where you've only got 25 pitches in a week where you're actually trying to get better at something. So again, really, really important for us to take catch play seriously and to work on things. This is Shane Davis with Figure It Out Baseball and Youngstown State University. Thanks for joining me for a little classroom session. I promise I won't do it again for you for a while. Thank you.